Hello friends, in this video we will review this SenseCap Watcher from C-Studio which you can easily configure and use it as your personal AI assistant. It has inbuilt ESP32 S3 chip along with Hemax AI processor and here you can see it has camera, one watt speaker, microphone, battery and you can charge it from this C-type port and it has also some exposed GPIO you can connect it with your home assistant to control appliances and with this wheel you can easily increase or decrease the volume so it has pretty everything you need in your personal AI assistant hi let me know what are the things you can do Please take a picture and let me know what you can see. Okay, let me take a photo for you. I see a light bulb, a pair of pliers with blue handles, a pen and a remote control neatly arranged on a wooden surface. Click a photo and solve the math problem. Okay, let me take a photo first and help solve the math problem. The solution to the math problem is 96.4. Now let me quickly unbox the SenseCap Watcher, the packing is really premium. So this is our SenseCap Watcher and along with this you will also get these accessories, some fittings and a C-type USB cable. Now let me turn it on, for that you have to press this button for 5 seconds. Now here you can see I have to connect with this hotspot to configure the Wi-Fi. Before that I will flash the SenseCap Watcher with current firmware. So you can visit this article. I will mention the link in the description. Then I will click here flash download tool and you will get step by step instruction how to flash the SenseCap Watcher. Before that let me download the firmware and the flash tool and here you can see our SenseCap watcher is connected with my laptop then let me open the flash download tool I will just follow this tutorial let me select the type then click on ok now let me select the firmware so I am just following this article now I will select the com port here I will select com7 here you can see in my case it is com6 and 7 you have to select the higher number com port so i have selected com7 instead of com6 then select the broad red then click on start so here you can see it already started i will always recommend you to update the firmware with the latest version so here you can see it's showing finish then i have to reset and restart the sense cap with this button so let me just do the same process here you can see it started now I will connect with this hotspot showing on the screen. So this is the hotspot. Let me connect with this. Now we have to enter the IP showing on the screen. So let me open a browser and enter the IP 192.168.41. Now I have to enter the Wi-Fi name or SSID and the password. Then click on connect. Now it will restart and trying to connect with the Wi-Fi. Now we have to use this activation code to connect the device with SenseCap. So let me connect with the Wi-Fi again. Now I will search SenseCap AI. Then I will visit this website. I will also mention the link in the description. First you have to create an account. So you can click on sign up and fill up these details to create an account. I already have an account. So let me log in with my email ID and password then i will click on watcher agent then click on create then give a name say polo you can give any other name then click on add device enter the verification code so this is the activation code i have to enter right now 903955 now you can also change the setting character voice just go to setting 
click on this gear icon so this is the assistant name and you can select the language character voice then in the advanced setting you can also change the speed so after that you can just click on save now let me click on workspace select send step watcher let me click on connect again here you can find the smaller port file descriptor correspond to Emacs camera so i will click on connect select the smaller one com6 click on connect and here you can see the live feed now i will quickly select a model so these are the model let me select that gesture control and click on confirm now it is downloading the model things are very simple if you have any query you can always refer to this tutorial it may take some time now let me place my hand in front of the camera and here you can see it's a paper now it's a scissor and it's a rock so it can correctly detecting the hand gesture now i have disconnected the usb and it connected with the wi-fi now let me ask some question please click a photo and describe what you can see okay let me take a photo and describe what i see i took a photo and here's what i see a man with glasses and a beard a smartphone in the foreground a ceiling fan above a digital clock and calendar on the wall showing the date and time along with a door and some electrical fixtures so thus it can click any photo and describe what is nearby you can also ask some other question how many rivers are in the world i don't know the exact number of rivers in the world it's hard to count them all since there are so many small and large rivers across different regions would you like to know about some major rivers instead how many countries are in the world there are 195 countries in the world including 193 united nations member states and two observer states vatican city and palestine what is the weather today it's 24 degrees celsius in calcutta today with moderate fog and 53% humidity the wind is coming from the northwest at 13 kilometers per hour a light jacket might be comfortable. Now we will test how it can detect different type of object. So I will just tap this button to activate it. What you can see in front of you. Take a picture and describe. Okay, let me take a look. I see a black Samsung marker pen, a white remote with buttons, a smaller black remote and a black smartphone with a dark screen. Take a picture and solve a math problem. I'll take a picture and help with the math problem. The math problem is 195 549 divided by 2. Following order of operations, we divide first 549 divided by 2 equals 274.5. Then add 195 plus 274.5 equals 469.5. The answer is 469.5. So this is a very useful. You can ask different type of question. And as I have already discussed, it can easily solve math problem, identify different object. And apart from that, you can also control appliances by connecting it with the home assistant i will cover those in upcoming videos so it is a very useful tool you can use i will share all the details related to it in the description if you have any query related to SenseCap, you can always let me know in the comment section or you can also visit their tutorial article so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.